Yes, sir. So, so the last time uh, someone had advised me, and uh, um, it was my first time also. And again, Hindi was a thing, so I was told to do the case studies first. I did uh, the case studies, but then I had very little time left for the first half, and I could not, I feel, do, do justice to that. This time, I just decided to uh, attempt all papers from the beginning to the end, and give sort of each because I think at the end it's about the marks that are devoted to each question and you get marks according to the question so I just gave equal weightage in terms of time also to each mark uh, and divided time accordingly um, the first half I used to and I personally feel that uh, you can get a, like an edge in terms of the first part of the paper as well because it's more open-ended there's more scope for creativity you can um, get more so I used to use a lot of quotes a lot of examples in the first part of the question uh, more, use more dimensions. For the case studies again, I try to um, not follow a single template for all case studies. Sometimes I used to start with an example, sometimes I used to list the ethical dilemmas involved. I also, I'm looking at other toppers copies of the previous year as well, I try to incorporate um, other things. So, say uh, constitutional articles or uh, case studies from say governance which people would not necessarily use in ethics because they feel it's only about ethical things but I used to like incorporate other GS things also into my answers so that was an approach I followed but I, I think I was more open in terms of the ethics paper whatever examples I thought even if it's mythology even if it's anything that I could think of and I felt was making sense in terms of explaining my answer better I did not like shy away from using it in both in the case studies and in the first half of the paper.